Today we're looking at God gets the first say and God gets the final say. And that's not just with us, even with Jesus we see that. Jesus modeled this for us. In John 7, 16 and 17, Jesus said, My message is not my own message. It comes from God. Anyone who wants to do the will of God will know whether my message is from God or not. So he's saying, test me. See if what I'm saying lines up with God. All right? Jesus was God, but he was also man. We see that Philippians 2, 6 to 8, that even though Jesus was God, he humbled himself and took on the form of you and me. All right? And he humbled himself and he became obedient even to death on the cross. In John 5, 19, we see Jesus again saying, I only do what I see the Father doing. In other words, I'm not my own agent. I'm not the Lone Ranger. I'm not a wild card. I don't just make all my own decisions. I am under submission to the Father. Okay? And if Jesus felt the importance of doing that, how much more do we? You know what, friend? I'm going to tell you, we do not know everything that we think we know. We're not all that. We need to be in alignment. We need to be in connection. We need to be submitted to our Father. Okay, so if Jesus made that important, so should we. All right, Matthew 26, 42, we see Jesus in the garden and right before he's about to give his life for us on the cross. And it's not something he's looking forward to. He's praying, he's pleading, he's saying, please take this cup from me. If there's any other way, Father, if there's any other way, please. But if there's not, if there's not any other way to redeem man, to purchase back mankind, than me giving my life. If there's no other way, okay, not my will, but your will be done. Wow. You know what? God gets the first say and God gets the final say. We have to choose to live submitted to God's will, to God's word, to God's direction. And you know what? I see a picture of like how John, the beloved, how he leaned on Jesus' chest. And you know, if we live and position ourselves in a place where our head is on the heart of God. We are positioned up close to Him. It will be so easy for us to know what He wants us to do, and it will be so hard for us to miss His will for our life. So going the second mile, I encourage you today. Make God's word the first thing, and make His say the final say. Follow Him. Live submitted to His will, first and foremost, in your life.